Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the CocoSwap token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you step by step everything you have to do in order to purchase the CocoSwap token. But before we get started, I just want to remind everyone I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on this channel showing you guys things like how to buy, how to sell, and lots more to do within the crypto space. So if you guys are interested in crypto, I'd really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of content coming out now and into the future. Anyhow, first things first, we just want to head over to Trust Wallet. And I'm just going to let you guys know once we're in Trust Wallet here, I'm not going to show you guys how to buy BNB or transfer BNB into your Trust Wallets, as well as I'm not going to show you guys how to create your Trust Wallet. If you guys need to learn how to do either of those two things, I'll have separate tutorials for those linked in the comment section as well as in the description if you guys need to learn how to do that first. But I'm going to assume you guys already have your BNB inside of your Trust Wallet and that your BNB is already in your Smart Chain Wallet on your Trust Wallet. That is very, very important. Make sure that your BNB is not in your BNB wallet. Make sure you swap it to your Smart Chain Wallet and that can be done by going to bnb here clicking on more and then swap to smart chain if it's not in your smart chain wallet it's not going to show up on pancake swap anyhow all we have to do now is add the contract address in for the coco swap for the coco swap token and for that we just have a link to coin market cap in the description so just go ahead over to that link and then it'll bring you to this page right here on coin market cap all we have to do is go beside where it says contracts and copy that little address beside the binance smart chain so you just click on the copy button that i just clicked on and then head back over to trust wallet once you're back in Trust Wallet, you just want to go to the top right of your screen where you see the two lines and two circles. Click on that. Then go to the top search and paste that contract address in. Once that is done, you'll see the CocoSwap token pop up. So we can enable the token and click on Done. Now that we have the token inside of our Trust Wallet, we can go ahead over to PancakeSwap. And I'll have a link over to PancakeSwap in the description. So I'll show you guys what to do once you're on PancakeSwap. And once you guys are on PancakeSwap here, first thing that we have to do is connect our wallet. So if you just go to the top right of the screen and click on the Connect Wallet button, and then here, instead of clicking on Trust Wallet directly, we're actually going to click on Wallet Connect. And once we click on Wallet Connect, we can choose our preferred wallet here. So you guys can use any wallet you would like, MetaMask, Pillar, doesn't really matter at all. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys with Trust Wallet. So I'm going to click on Trust Wallet. Once we click on Trust Wallet, it's going to pop up in Trust Wallet asking us to connect to PancakeSwap. So we're going to click on Connect, then head back over to PancakeSwap. We'll know our wallet's connected when we see our wallet icon in the top right corner right here, as well as our balance of BNB right above BNB. And like I said before, if your balance of BNB here is not showing, just make sure you have it in your Smart Chain wallet. Anyhow, all we have to do now is just click on Select a Currency, and then paste that same address we got from CoinMarketCap in here as well. We will then see the CocoSwap token, so we click on Import, I understand, and then Import. Now all we have to do is change our slippage tolerance, and for this token, they say to use 8%. So to change our slippage tolerance, we just go beside where it says Exchange and click on that little settings gear. Once we do that, we can click on here and this change our slippage tolerance to 8% for this token. Once we have that done, we can exit out. Now all we have to do is decide how much BNB we want to transfer into the CocoSwap token. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to transfer 0.2 BNB. I can type in 0.2 and then it will show me how much CocoSwap token I'll get in exchange for that BNB. Now, if I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and click on swap where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. And then on the next page, it's going to show you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you your fees and withdraw rates and things like that. Now, if you're happy with that, you can go ahead and click on swap one more time. And then once you get that, you'll get this successful transaction notice and we can exit back into our trust wallets. Normally within a couple of minutes, your CocoSwap token should arrive here. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out showing you guys how to buy the CocoSwap token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.